Hello friends, welcome to UGCNet Online Pre Coaching. Already I have started June 2006. I have covered question number 1 to question number 20. Now today I will cover question number 21 to 30. Look at question number 21 in June 2006. In a balanced binary tree given below how many nodes will become unbalanced when a node is inserted as a child of the node g for this node means how many nodes required to balance this tree i hope who are uh, seen all my previous videos he can answer this one easily because same question repeated in uh, last step this is i think in, uh, uh, June 2005 question number 23 same question it is repeated 21 so uh, look at how many questions are repeating this year uh, actually June 2005 I think this the third question is repeating uh, in that in June 2005 question number 23 means part 3 I have explained in detail about this question uh, just who are uh, already subscribers he know what is the answer of this question uh, if you are new user just go through i have explained in detail uh, what is tree what is binary tree and how to balance and all just go through it question number 23 in june 2005 part 3 video okay i will not explain one second uh, just go through it okay next question number 22 Pre-order is also known as depth first order, breadth first order, topological order, linear order. Okay. Um, topology, uh, depth first and breadth first. I hope these are very popular. And the linear, uh, topological and linear. In topological order, I have explained in previous video what is topology and what is the how to trace out at all. Uh, just pre-order is also known as this trade part of question if you know the answer you can answer easily because pre-order and post-order using two way of searching one is pre-order used for depth first search post-order used for breadth first search actually pre-order traversal the first depth first traversal method we consider is called pre-order traversal pre-order traversal is defined recursively as follows to do a pre-order traversal of a general tree visit the root first then do the pre-order traversal each of the subtree of the root one by one in the order in the order given okay so answer is a question number 22 pre-order is also known as depth first search depth first order post order is breadth first order okay uh, depth first search using uh, recursive function stack data structure backend breadth first q data structure uh, for backend so keep this one also very important point next we'll go for question number 23 which of the following statement is false every tree is a bipartite a tree contain a cycle a tree with n nodes contains n minus 1 it just a tree is connected graph who are my subscribers i hope uh, you, you remember this question somewhere you have looked at same thing a repeated question in question uh, june 2005 question number 22 asked this question same question it is repeated so which of the following statement is false every tree is a bipartite graph yes it is true because uh, every tree is means root node connecting with the child root node in uh, set one child is our set b definitely it holds good for bipartite graph a tree contain a cycle this is false a, because a cyclic graph is called tree it's the definition of a tree what is tree a cyclic graph is called tree but here question uh, option is a tree contain a cycle that's option is wrong third one a tree with n nodes containing n minus one edges already explained definitely if it is a tree there are n nodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 nodes definitely there are 5 edges 1 2 3 4 5 6 i think 7 nodes 3 node 3 node 7 nodes there are 6 edges definitely it holds good for tree that is also true a tree is a connected graph definitely if it is disconnected it is not a tree it is a forest so 
क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन ए बी ए सी डी आर राइट only fast statement is a tree contain a cycle that is the wrong is the if you know the definition of tree you can answer this question easily so i hope it's very easy question option is b now look at question number 24 if the first pix form of a string is a b c plus minus t star the actual string is again same question is repeated again look at how many questions are repeated nearly uh, in uh, last 24 questions repeated five to six questions just imagine if you solved all the question papers in uh, last eight years definitely you can clear easily without doubt so be careful try to solve all the questions with reason definitely you will clear no doubt okay for this question already has i explained june 2005 question number 24 i mean sort these all explained in uh, part 3 okay a b c um, plus minus d star solved by this method already i have explained in detail in question number 24 Uh, june 2005 this is uh, now i am discussing june 2006 is is this is repeating just go through it one second i explain in detail go through that uh, third uh, video question number 25th application of data structure qvs level wise printing of the tree implementation of a priority queue function call implementation depth first search graph just now i explained depth first search using backend is stack data structure breadth breadth first search it is a queue data structure definitely it is not uh, d so function call implementation that is using stack not queue that is also not option so question, eliminate c and d come to the a and b level wise printing of tree that is also application of data structure implementation of priority queue that is also a application of data structure queue but both are according to me both are answers but for this implementation of priority queue that is the best application of data structure queue so i'll select in this because already i have explained you sometime two to three options are near uh, are the answers but in that select which one is appropriate answer uh, means it which one is near to the question that is, that's why implementation of priority queue this is the near to the question so option applications of data structure uh, data structure queue is implementation of priority queue but level wise printing of tree that is also a application but in this case select b okay now go for question number 26 what is the transmission signal coding method for a t1 carrier called actually t1 and t2 carriers i have explained in uh, december 2004 there are two questions i think 47 48 questions i have explained in detail about uh, signal t1 t2 carrier signals but anyhow uh, somewhat it is a different what is the transmission signal coding method for t1 carrier that is binary non return to zero nrz non return to zero bipolar manchester in this select actually uh, for this one we'll go for we need a brief explanation there are the number of different encoding methods used on a t1 lines alternate mark in one in inversion that is ami and bipolar with 8 bit substitution b8 z s and high density bipolar tree code hd p3 these all are used for t1 carrier lines but for this option 26th option c is the right answer okay bipolar with 8 bit substitution that is the appropriate it's not a binary non return to zero and manchester okay these all are inappropriate for this question so okay now we'll go for question number 27 how many bandwidth is required to send 132 voice grade channels by fdm frequency division multiplexing on an international satellite system this is used in europe i hope uh, if you this type of questions there is no alternate just remember this one uh, actually what is frequency division multiplexing equation 
Frequency division multiplexing access is simple. Another example of familiar data and voice transmission technique called frequency division multiplexing. This technique is used to allocate small portions of large bandwidth, means what 500 megahertz for a satellite transponders to individual users. For instance, a telecommunication common carrier in a particular country, says Brazil, might want 132 voice grid channels for sending voice and analog coded data for various other countries. The bandwidth required on the current international satellite system of for this many channels is 10 megahertz because one transponder was a bandwidth of 500 megahertz it could be accommodate 50 users each require 132 channels the the brazilian user might be allocated by the frequency band between 5990 to 6000 megahertz for the unlink to the satellite and the corresponding downlink frequency is 3765 to 3775 MHz. Other user might be assigned similar portion of the bandwidth in the same transponder. For example, Portuguese user might be allocated for 6220 to 6230 MHz uplink bandwidth and 3995 to 4,500 MHz downlink bandwidth. A Canadian user might operate on the 5,930 to 5,940 MHz uplink bandwidth and downlink bandwidth. Means what? To to get 132 voice grid channels to send a voice analog coded uh, various other countries, we need 500 MHz of frequency. So answer of this question is A. If you want more about this one, just go through this link. Yeah, in this link, they are explained in detail about uh, how how much bandwidth is required for all. It's not only 132 voice grid channels. It is explained in detail for um, in different categories. Okay, just go through this link. Um, if you have any queries, still just uh, you drop mail and please subscribe the channel and uh, um, inform your friends um, please share it if you anything you just comment it if you like like it if you dislike at least uh, dislike it uh, then i can understand uh, what are the faults if you have any fault anything if you want to suggest me please suggest because it should helpful to all uh, new uh, viewers so please share your th uh, thoughts whatever uh, after looking this video okay uh, question number come to the question number 28 what is the difference between the ether net pre preamble field at the ieee 802.3 preamble and start of the prime delimulator field this is the standard um ieee 802.3 um, preamble means the prime format just look at i triple uh, 802.3 prime format preamble it will take a seven bytes start prime delimulator it will take a one byte of memory that's uh, start prime delimulator build it will take a option is a if you know the format of this uh, table i triple 802.3 prime structure you can answer easily for this question but uh, look at what is preamble each prime starts with the preamble of seven bytes each byte contains the bit pattern uh, for this bit pattern manchester encoding is employed here and this enables the receiver clock to synchronize the senders and initialize itself start up prime delimiter uh, delimiter this field contains a byte sequence 10101011 denotes the start of the frame itself so option of this question is one byte of memory is required start from frame delimulator for this uh, they have explained in detail just go through this link he has explained very well uh, in different frame formats and in detail for this type of questions okay just go through this link um, come to the question number 20 what is the function of translating bridge actually in question number 28 in june 2005 i, I explained all types of bridges in detail here they are asking just change some modification 
translating bridge actually the translating bridge is connected uh, interconnection interconnects two different types of lan protocols such as ethernet and token ring translating bridge are generally very complicated device however sure uh, source routing transparent uh, bridging integrate integrates both bridging methods of inter ethernet and token ring to solve the problems so what is the what is the function of translating bridge connecting a similar remote lands connecting a similar local lands different connecting different types of lands translate the network address into the layer 2 addresses for this question after looking the op reason of this one connecting different types of lands so option c is the right answer okay come to the last question the program used to determine the round trip delay between a workstation and destination addresses transert transroot and ping and pop here i hope most of you answered while looking previous questions ping but it is not a ping uh, here slight difference is round trip delays if it is if it is only to determine the round trip between uh, destination it is being but here round trip delay between workstation and destination while reading the questions please be careful in one word um, changes the answer be careful okay now look at this one in computing transroute is the computer network diagnostic tool for displaying the route and measuring transit delay delays of packets across an internet protocol network the history of the route is recorded as the round trip times of the packets received from each successive host in the route the sum of the mean times in each ho uh, means ho indicates the total time spent to establish the connection transroute Proce proceeds unless all send packets are lost more than twice then the connection is lost and the route cannot be evaluated ping on the other hand only computers the final round trip times from the destination point here ping is using to just for round trip time from the destination point but here question is round trip delay between the workstation and the destination that's why Uh, the option b is a right answer don't confuse with the ping that is if only round trip times from the destination point then the answer is ping okay so while reading the question be careful thanks for watching uh, please subscribe and channel and please like it share share it please inform your friends thanks to one and all